morning. Before dawn sometime. Trying to turn the light on. Hopefully without it being too much. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you could see the cat, but he just left. So that changes the whole meditation. But he was sitting right on my throat. And then his side was against my mouth. And nose and uh, I just rose with a poem in my head about Sukha and Dukkha and the cat came over and sat on my throat started purring and I thought maybe you'd be able to hear the purring and uh, the breath of course is one of the basic experiences that the ego has with Sukha and Dukkha. So I tapped out my poem and then he climbed and sat on my throat. And the latest understanding that I have of what science has about purring is that it's a um, a declaration, affirmation of contentment in the sense that we might think of it as the cat saying this like this, let's not change this. It's a little bit less I'm happy or I'm content and a little bit more sort of an affirmative statement of I like this and I don't want it to change. And of course, when I'm sitting on my throat, and blocking my airway partly, it seemed pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna turn this light lower because it's in my eye. And uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit of breathing with him there and aware of his purring. He's hopped off, so what are you going to do? That's live video, right? So, breathing through the nose, breathing out the mouth. And not just enjoying it or being content, but sort of affirming the fact that I wouldn't like a change. Doesn't mean that if some change was suggested, I might not consider it and say, yeah, I do prefer that. But this is a, a rather proactive assertion that as things are I'd like them not to change so as things are things are sufficient my sukha and dukkha have been at least minimally met and there is a balance here I may not be the happiest or most comfortable or breathing the cleanest air but neither am I the least happy, least un, least comfortable, etc. So I'm not going to try and make the sound of purring, but I'm going to try and have a purring breath, if you will. And I will.
tend to the beavers, so I hope that made some modicum of sense for everybody, or I trust it did. Uh, Saki did not join us for the whole meditation, he was here just to inspire one, I guess. Thank you, Saki. Thank you all.